Hi, today we are going to learn line 60 box musette from our method book on the flute. And so this is longer than a lot of the tunes we've played, but you'll notice the patterns are repetitive, which make the, makes it a lot easier to, to follow along. So we're going to start at the beginning. We're going to go through it. As always, we have our treble clef at the beginning of each line. We also have our key signature. We have two flats. The first one is a B flat, which tells us all Bs are flat. The second one is an E flat, which tells us all E's are flat. And then we have our time signature. We are in 4-4 four, four time. The top number tells us the number of beats per measure. The bottom number is the value of the whole note. So if we had a whole note, it would get four beats. Half of a whole is a half. Half of four is two. So the half notes get two beats each. Then half of a half is a quarter. Half of two is one. So quarter notes get one beat each. Then half of a quarter is an eighth, and half of one is a half and not zero. The eighth notes individually each get one beat, uh, half a beat, but you're going to find them either in pairs or in groups of four. Here we've got a group of four eighth notes, and the four of them together take up two beats, same as a half note. If I have just two that are beamed together, they take up one beat like a quarter note. So something else I want to show you, we are working with slurs. So this curved line over multiple notes that change, that's a slur. In a previous video, we had notes that were tied together and it's a tie because the notes did not change pitch. When they change pitch, that same curved line is now a slur. And with the slur, you tongue the first note and then keep your air moving and let your fingers do the rest. You do not tongue any of the notes that follow. And then when you get out of the slur, you tongue the next note. So we have that. We also have dynamics. We have a forte here. Forte means loud. So you're going to play loudly for the first line into the second line. And then the third line, we have a P. This P stands for piano. Piano means soft. So for this line, we are going to bring the volume down, try to make a difference. And then for the last line, we play back to forte again. So we're allowed for the last four measures. So now let's look for um, our patterns. So for the first line, we start on a half note F, thumb, one, two, three, one, and pinky. We're going to hold that for two beats, and then we're just coming down a five note scale. On eighth notes, we have E flat, D, C, B flat. Then we do that again in the next measure. Half note F, E flat, D, C, B flat. Then I'm going to go ahead and play that because that might be a little bit much to just put together with the rest of it. So the first two measures will go like this. One, two, ready. <laughs> And notice I slurred those eighth notes. If I had not slurred them, it would have sounded like this. So there's a big difference. Um, so another thing I want you to notice is that those first two measures happen again at the beginning of the second line and again at the beginning of the fourth line. So there's a big chunk of the song already. Then at measure three, we have eighth notes that are slurred, D to E flat. Then we have F, E flat, D. Next measure, still quarter notes, C, F, D, B flat. So we're skipping around and we have a little bit of an arpeggio there. I'm going to play measures three and four. One and two, ready. <laughs> Now, if you look ahead, the third and fourth measure of the second line, the third measure is the same as what I just played, 
the fourth measure is different. The fourth measure of line two is a C to an F, then a half note B flat. I'm going to play measure three and four from the second line. Ready? <laughs> And landing on that half note B flat, it feels like we're done, but we have more. Also notice the last line, those two measures are identical to what I just played. So we've just basically learned three out of the four lines. So when we go to put it together, you'll be able to see and hear that pattern. Now I'm gonna focus on the third line. We are soft and it's completely different. So the first measure of line three, we have eighth notes on C and D. All of the eighth notes have been slurred so far. Then we have a quarter note E flat. We do that again, C, D, E flat. Then we have a D to an F that's slurred and then we have a half note F. I'm gonna play just those two measures. One and two. Ready? If I had not slurred, it would have sounded like this. So you want to make sure to do the articulations that are written. Now the next two measures, we have the same C, D, E flat that we had before, but now we have D, B flat, C. So these two measures will sound like this. Ready? So landing on that half note C, we feel like we have to continue. We're not quite done. We want to land on a B flat, and that's why it takes us to the last line. So now I'm going to start at the beginning. I have a metronome set for 112 beats per minute. So it's going to be a bit faster than what I've been doing. And I'm going to do my best to show the articulations and the dynamic changes. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And hopefully you can play along with me. If not, slow down try different sections at your own pace and then when you're ready come back and play with me here we go one two one and two beginning <laughs> And that is it for line 60 box musette. If you've ever taken piano lessons, you've probably played this before, and now you know how to play it on the flute. I hope this was helpful, and we'll see you next time.